a lot of teams, especially option teams, run this belly play quite a bit. We're going to take a look. And they like to do it a lot with two tight ends. We'll see a look where they do it with an open back side, and we see where the issues are with that. But really all it is is counter. Just instead of pulling from the back side, they pull from the front side. Everybody else is down blocking. These guys are going to try to double this up. Everybody else is just kind of reaching there to the play side. Fullbacks also, he's going to work that front side linebacker. They typically do it with a fullback. Now, of course, goal line, if you didn't, you just leave that safety or whoever unblocked. But we're going to take a look at it. And right here against Ohio State, you see you have a seven technique, inside technique. So he's going to block down, block down, pull the kick right here. And you see everybody else is basically scooping here front side. If they don't have made that gap, they're working up. And right there, they cut off that backside linebacker. You have safety filling in. But as you're looking at it, you see that you're really strong here at the point of attack. Get a good down block. This outside linebacker doesn't really squeeze very hard, so you're able to get your front side shoulder. Creates a big alley here for the running back and the fullback to fill in through. And now you're getting a couple big bodies. Good read here by the off running back. Putting your shoulder on it right there. And then, of course, the running back hitting that thing with momentum as well. And you fall forward right there for a pretty decent gain as you're looking at it. I mean, G lead is on second and four. Power football guys getting downhill, playing with momentum. Getting five, six yards right there. Have a 22 personnel set with a pretty loaded box here to start off the play, as you can see. You had a seven man box there against that 22 personnel with safeties getting in pretty quick. Where on this look, you can see there's a couple tight ends over here on the front side. Then you got your fullback. Everybody's going to down block. You see there are a lot of bodies in here. Front side guard is going to pull the kick. You see there's a pretty good gap here. So we should be able to get a pretty good kick. Off fullback is going to work that just like a pulling guard. He's going to fill in for whatever shows up. Probably the safety. And everybody else on the back side, as you see. They're scooping that direction, just trying to cut off. And right here, just looking at the puller, a huge gap right there. And even the front side tight end, the extra tight end right here, he's able to work straight up to this linebacker so they get everything sealed. They do get some penetration here by the defensive line. But that guard does a good job getting a little bit of depth to get around. There's the kick on that defense, on that outside linebacker that we are talking about. And that fullback is able to lead up on that safety. Great, strong, hard hat right here by the fullback. Boom, you shock that linebacker. And then again, of course, running back playing downhill. That's Quorum right there, so one of the better backs in the nation. Playing downhill, they gotta try to find a way to stop them. No chance of those big bodies getting right there just off. Those two extra tight ends, creating a long edge there. Not able to fit it right there for Iowa in the Big Ten Championship game. No look here, this time against Bowling Green. If you're just looking at what's going on here with the front, you definitely wanna run it this direction. You only got two guys right here. On that side of the center, you still got a nose, but right here you got one, two, three over here. So you want to run it weak if you can. And of course, being even with everything, having the fullback in the eye, they're able to do this. Again, blocking down. There's your big front side guard pulling a the kick. There's your fullback leading in there for this only linebacker left. If you can take care of all this and don't get run through. And that's what they get right here. So, and right here, as you're seeing, great kick there by the guard. You're able to get a piece of him he does squeeze it pretty hard but there's really nobody left so he can't squeeze it as hard as you'd really hope to try to stop this fullback fills in they do get some penetration but just creating those gaps and getting right there off the tackle a little bit of a different angle where they can't just play downhill quorum is able to fight his way in and of course again that's why he's one of those guys that's scoring 20 plus touchdowns a year at that running back spot he's going to find a way in those short yardage spots to muscles way in the end zone that's what he does right here Great dirty run there by Quorum, able to get into the end zone here. This early in the year against Bowling Green. Another look here where if you just stopped pre-snap where you know you want to run. You want to run this way. There's a couple extra bodies over here again. One, two, three over here to this side. You got one, two, three, four over here. And you can have your extra tight end over here. So this is probably a misalignment here by Indiana. There's your wide technique. Everybody's down blocking. Front side guard is going to pull the kick. He's going to lead up on this linebacker that's filling in here. Again, just a huge kick by this guard, 65. Getting up field there by the outside linebacker, or maybe it's a corner or somebody, I don't know who that is as far as personnel for Indiana. But right there, he's getting up field trying to play with speed and undercut that, but great job getting a body on him. Creates a wide alley, and 44 is able to fill in pretty quick. Again, we talked about he's got a hard hat. He's gonna stone those linebackers just like he does right here. and. Then and Michigan's able to get into the end zone. The thing that's really interesting about this one is you just see, just watch this interior and what happens. So with all the stuff going on with the puller and the fullback and all this stuff, all that happens here on the inside, just a big wad right here. And you see 
pretty much everybody in the defense office looks like a rugby scrum, and they're just sitting there not letting them run through those inside gaps, making the widest guy try to make a play. It's too wide for him to get there. So, again, just creating a big pile, kicking with the front side guard, leaving the fullback, fight your way into the end zone right there on short yardage. Another look right here, and again, I think I'd probably go this direction, but Michigan ends up running here. They down block, down block, pull the guard here to kick. They're trying to scoop here front side, so they have to get over here to this front side A-gap player to make this one work. And that's what they end up doing right here. Again, short yardage, got to find a way they kick right there with the guard. And there's the 77 pulling. There's a kick. Pretty good job squeezing here by a 7 for Indiana. He tries to condense that so linebacker can have such a wide alley to run. But right there. Fullback again, one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker in the box. And they also have a running back playing with some momentum, so they get in the end zone right there on second and goal from the one. Uh, but right there, a lot better job there by Indiana playing it. And it really happened to be on the direction I think they didn't have the numbers. But they just ran it, down blocked, created a big wall right there again in the middle. You see they have to try to reach there to the front side. Just create a big jumble. Rugby scrum right there, get off tackle, find a way to get in the zone. Here's another look, and if you're looking at it with the Purdue defense, very obvious where you want to run G Lee over on that side. Huge alley right here. Should be blocking down, trying to work up there. They even scoop the center right here to the front side if you're just looking at the interior line. This center is able to scoop all the way to the mic. These guys are reaching right here. Here's the pull to kick. Again, huge alley here. Fullback filling in. Got to be strong right there. They do get some penetration here from the back side. And right there, this tackle is just trying to cut off. Get strong right there and slow him down, not let him run down from the back side. Fullback fills in, gets a kick there on the front side linebacker. And everybody's just getting big bodies, trying to run there. They get about three or four. He's on a first and goal. They get about three or four yards, pretty good play. But Purdue does a pretty good job here to the back side of condensing this. Trying to give him absolutely no way to cut back and then trying to run this down. Where it's a tight alley here. Just getting big bodies off the tackle here. Falling forward for about three yards, four yards. On a first and goal, it's pretty big. This is look here with a little bit of motion. They motion him just right here to widen everything out. And then they were just working this right here. G lead to that side. Everybody's reaching here. It's tight in the jabs. Then goes to the flats. He opens up and he reverses out. Now, I'd probably want to have the running back, the quarterback where he can read C gap for if this guy's flying down extremely hard. But right here, he just opens up and hands it. And the only issue you have right here is this back side possibly getting there. Everything else looks pretty good. Again, getting a double team here, working right there. There's the kick. There's the motion that softened everything. This middle linebacker's even really slow to react to this, trying to go over the top now. And with that double team, the tight end is able to come off. And you see the center right here. He's just getting on a parade. He's running. He gets all the way out there in front. So a couple big bodies. But if you're looking at the kick and everything, everything looks good here. No fullback to lead either. And backside, chance to run it down right here on this one. So a little bit different formation. Same run scheme but not quite as an, as effective as getting all the gaps extra tight end and being able to get an extra big body leading in there to the front side linebacker. So a little bit different when you don't have a fullback to lead in there as well or anything that can strain the backside C yet, whether it's the quarterback's eyes or whether it's the extra tight end. Sometimes you get right down from the backside. Here's another look here against Purdue. And this one, you got big body right here. You got extra lineman. You got tight end here. Everybody's blocking down. Pulled a kick here. And in Purdue, if you're looking at it, does a pretty good job playing this. So you have this I saw linebacker squeezing. You want to try to wrong shoulder this, and that's what he does right here. You got the puller coming to him, wrong shoulder. Boom, try to get vertical. Cut off that penetration. Now you got these linebackers stepping over the top. There's the kick from the fullback. This is the mic. Everybody was able to hold their gaps, and that mic's able to play over the top here. But again, everybody held their gaps. Still comes down to one on one tackles, and right there, Corn makes him miss. Finds a way to get in the end zone right there. So. Really good job as far as scheme by Purdue of playing this G lead. But then again, it comes down to the backside's too wide. This Mike linebacker's got a little bit too much space, not able to make this tackle on one of the better players in the country. Still a big alley right there that has to make a play in. Makes a miss. Gets the end zone there for Michigan. For Michigan fan, don't forget to get your shirts. We only got about another two weeks in a sale with our Call Me Natty shirt. So take advantage of it today. It's off the designs.com. There'll be a link in the description. Go get you some shirts. There's some champion sweatshirts, but I really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys again in the next video.